Okay guys, OB needs us. The only thing of concern is that there are quite a few big craters, I'd say. They're not even pitting craters in the base plate, the rear third base plate. Okay, stay four in the dry dock. And the most important thing, our hull survey begins now. Oof. Yeah. I can't, uh, can't lie. I'm really upset about it. I mean, basically, our rear third base plate that looks like from new corrosion so hopefully this what we're doing now is we're going to halt that corrosion and it'll be good we're going to come back in a year come out again we got to make sure we come and we rest on a different point because the bit that we can't get to now we'll need looking at And then in a year's time we make the decision on what we're going to do. Is it that it's okay, the corrosion stopped, the paint, um, the two pack paint that we're putting on is halted the corrosion and we're safe, we're good to go. Perhaps a lifetime of the boat. Do we need to put edging? Apparently we put edging on the side just to prevent any further corrosion of the base plate edge which I'll show you in a bit flat and then comes up there's a possibility we could put like a horseshoe all the way around and then weld in between the new shoe and the base plate so imagine if the, the new shoe was flat there'd be a slight gap and we'd fill that with weld do we do that or is it going to be a whole new plate? Now if it's a new plate, overplating it's called, that has to go against steel that isn't corroding. Does that make sense? So we've, whatever happens we've got to come out in a year to check whether we've stopped the corrosion. If we haven't stopped the corrosion, then it's going to look like it's looking like it's a new plate. So we're going to have to overplate all that back section, which is what three, four meters. <sighs> yeah, kind of knew it was going to be bad news, and it's bad news. But as I said before, we're in the best place, aren't we? We'll do the work now, get it safe, no matter how hot and sticky it is. Yeah. This is definitely not a good news story day. good news is um, everything else is fine so it is just that back plate so Mike's done the survey and now I've got to clean it up ready for paint which has meant some new kit so it's not all bad is it and it's just new kit
Okay guys, OB needs us. Coffee, phone, let's go. So what Mike advised was to get a grinder and get into each of the craters and remove any old rust. So anything that was left from the power wash I needed to um, get that off, get that out of the craters so when we put the paint in it was going onto a clean surface. So after all, all the bad news today, we're in a good position. I'll catch him in the, in the morning. I'm absolutely shot. See you tomorrow. Um, it's been a funny old day, I think. But uh, we've learned a lot, haven't we? We have. I think all stuff that I could have lived without knowing. <laughs> no, but I mean, the saving grace is that we actually did decide to black the boat ourselves this time. Yeah. We'd pull it out the water and actually look at the, the hull, whereas we've trusted other people to do it for them. We've obviously not. That's after not it. the best idea. <laughs> no. So, top tip. <laughs> is look after your hull and look at it yourself. Yeah. I'm a very lucky in the fact that I've had such an awesome bloke, Mike, to survey the boat. Very thorough. And that I've got such an awesome husband who's worked very hard in this heat for the last few days I'm trying to get it in a good state. Bought you lots of fluid on there. Yeah. Big, big bottle of cloudy lemonade. Ginger <laughs> beer. I've had to have a lot, haven't I? Yeah. And now you've got to have a shower, haven't you? Because you're a bit mingy. It's not very nice, is it? Hey. It's not very nice, is it? Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Call me mingy. Well, not you're not mingy, but you're, your skin is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to put everything away on the back and then we'll watch the sewing bee, eh? Yep, yeah, gin and tonic, tea and sewing bee. Alright, burpee. Whew. So we are on day five in the dry dock. We are now undercoated with the aluminium coat underneath and the sides, all dry. Um, today we're going to try and get the black on, I'm not sure how much we'll get done, I'll definitely get the sides done and then as much of the bottom as possible but it's a very important day for Michelle <laughs> because she's got possibly the most intricate job to do. So do you want to tell everybody what you're doing Bill? Um. Our submission for the um, Wall of Fame at Northwich Dry Dock. So right. there's a lot of lot of boats' names that have been previously dry docked that have uh, painted their names on the wall. Right. Um, so we're going to put ours on. And, and our uh, neighbours done our, a cracking job of his. Yeah, our neighbours is <laughs> very neat. So I feel a bit under pressure. <laughs> so nobody's, I don't think anybody's ever seen uh, what sort of design we'd have on the boat if we, uh, when we do get it on. So do you want to sort this through it? In a minute, yeah. I'm just trying to stick the letter in together which Rebecca from the Dry Docks kindly 
printed for us. Printed for us. That'll do, darlings. That'll do. I like it. Ta da! So odd struck. So odd. Two D's. Back to front, that's Christopher's invention. And then I wanted a nice swirly font for Belle because it reminds me of kind of France and I think it should be a serif font. So there you go. And it should be a bit odd because it's odd struck. So there we go. Can't wait to see it on the wall. Better get painting on it. What are you doing, Shinny? Washing the dried up wall. What? Obviously. <laughs> Just creating a good base. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a lot. This is where we're gonna be. Oh, I haven't seen these paints since the last year of my competition. <laughs> yep. I see. We're going there. Right. And we've got more, we've got a bigger tin of the yellow, so that's why we're having a base of the yeah, yellow. We had a bigger tin of something. Yeah. Let's just have a look at um, Tom's. Tom. That is a thing of beauty though, isn't it? Some are really good. Uh, just tell some. Imogen and uh, Pandora's box is very neat as well, isn't it? Yeah. Went past Tickety Boo on the way here. Yeah, so we're more really sunbathing, money. Yeah. There's uh, Robbie's, you know what you like. And then Heidi's, that rum wench. And everywhere. <laughs> She's one cool lass. Thank you, dear. So B is getting her black coat today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the nice new shiny black coat. And then all the other day's work. So we'll just get some of that. So that's it for this week. Oof, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, I've got to be honest with you. I think that compounded with the fact of not a lot of sleep because um, I've been stressing about it, and you know the the news that we kind of expected that we have got quite an issue on the uh, the rear base plate. But we're still smiling, and yeah, we're gonna keep on keeping on so join us for our last few days in the dry dock next week where excuse me where we finish up shell finishes the name on the wall and then we reflow and set off to find a mooring so you guys take care of yourselves look after yourselves stay afloat and most importantly love yourself and your boat. Thanks for watching. Bye.